Coming back for more? You are at the right place. <laughs> that was cringe. <laughs> okay, anyways, today we will talk about your Form 4 Chapter 6 uh, support system. But uh, specifically, we will only talk about exoskeleton, which is the, the animals that has bones or shells on the outside. Okay,硬壳在外的,就是没有脊椎骨的骨头完全是外壳包着的,就是昆虫啊之类的这种东西. There's no vertebrates, there's no backbones in this kind of support system. Okay, so exoskeleton, as you can see the word exo, okay, I know some girls might be screaming already, I don't know why, but you know why. Exo, nah, not that, okay. This basically means uh, external. Okay, basically means bones on the outside. Bones, but actually not really bones. It's actually like hard shell like that. Okay, bones on the outside. So skeleton, external, also external skeleton, bones on the outside. So it belongs to this group called invertebrates. Invertebrates means no backbones. Well, first of all, this belongs a little bit from your Form 2. <laughs> form 2, yes, two years ago, when things are still good, when um, traveling is still something, um, going out is still uh, something everyone can do, okay? So, uh, where you learn animals are separated into two groups, which is vertebrates and invertebrates. vertebrates separate into five more groups like birds, Mammal, Niaolei, Purulei, uh, uh, Passing Lei, Reptiles, uh, Liang Si Dongwu, Amphibians, and Fish, Yu Lei, right? Those have backbones, bones like yours behind. Uh, the other category is called invertebrates. Invertebrates means no backbone. Okay, no backbone means they don't have internal bones. Their bones are really like hard shell on the outside, okay, which is called Outer layer waxy chitin or core shell. Chitin is a like almost your fingernail material. Lah. Okay, fingernail material. Yeah. So uh the fingernail material of course made of calcium and a lot more. So that's like their shell material. It's called chitin, remember. Okay. So example like spider, prawn, uh, scorpion crab can be land, can be aquatic also, got both. Lah. So if it's aquatic, then will be like prawn, crabs. La la and whatnot. Uh, if it's on land, spider, scorpion, uh, ants. Okay, can right. So the function of this type of skeleton is to support the body weight, like you and me. Same. Uh, uh, maintain body shape. Uh, they rely a lot on this because how they look like depends on their shell or their uh exoskeleton. Okay, that shapes them into different different shapes. Support internal organs of animal. Okay, well they can't be big. Uh. you never see this kind of this kind of um, animals or insects will be very big. Like like those have backbones, like mammal, like like uh, elephant, uh, like dog, cats. Never. If you ever see a spider as big as like elephant <laughs> in movie, you better run. Uh, but impossible uh, in real life. Impossible because exoskeleton are not able to support such big mass. Mm -hmm. So exoskeleton is really just for like um, uh, smaller animals and smaller mass. Okay, but endoskeleton bones on the inside like you and me can support bigger mass. Yeah, so that's why they are all small, small ones. Okay, and also that's the base for muscle attachment. So they are muscle attached to their shell, but for us, our muscle attached to our bones. Mm, so just the other way around. OK,可以買硬殼的,它說有硬殼的,來自從它支撐它重量還有讓它有形狀,還有保護它的內臟,跟我們一樣啦,跟人一樣的道理啦,只是它是比較小隻的,不能不可能支撐太大太重的那個體
category, insects category, arachnid. This one we don't learn, uh, never mind, it's just for fun only, just to show you there's a lot of different categories. Uh. Crustacean, like prawns and crab, crustacean. Okay, settle. Line. The most important part of this subtopic is to learn about the growth curve of exothermic. So this is what we call the growth curve. The normal curve of you and me uh, is like that one, which is behind, uh, the two words behind of the topic. Yeah? The growth curve is like that very S-shaped one, very nice and slim shape. But this is almost like a staircase special to exoskeleton. Okay, well, let's talk about it why like that. Huh? But first of all, the vertical part, okay, grow occurs uh, dramatically. Vertical means straight. 直的, huh? 直的叫 vertical, 这里叫 vertical, 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 vertical. 很夸张的, dramatic means suddenly go straight one. The growth, huh? the body length suddenly increase a lot. Very dramatic one. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. But uh, the horizontal part, which is the flat part, 平的, uh, 平的, which is the 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So that is called a zero growth stage. Zero growth means flat. Now you see the graph. This is body size, uh, body length. It doesn't increase, but time increase, the length, then it's flat. Okay? So first of all, must know how to recognize that. Huh? Okay? Well, uh, at this stage, right, we call the stage as insta. No gram, huh? insta only. Huh? So, uh, insta, insta stage, insta stage, insta stage, insta stage. But the, the animal itself, the insect itself, it's called nympha. nympha. That means not yet grow up, like baby. For us human, we call baby. For them, their baby, it's called nymph. Okay, so their nymph will go through insta stage. Means no growth, lah. every time flat. But... When it arrives at the horizontal, eh, sorry, the vertical, it will grow dramatically. So do you realize it's repeated one? Huh? But why like that? Huh? Okay, like why like that? Huh? Next page. The growth curve of animal with exoskeleton okay, can be seen in stages. Reason huh? number one, because their body or their exoskeleton is made up of hard chitin cannot expand you think they don't want you think they want like that one they very sad one you know <laughs> they want to grow one but cannot the body is covered with a shell that like uh, uh, cannot like uh but i cannot stand this anymore you will tear off your shell okay that's made up of chitin okay and it will expand like, after you take off your shell. So the problem is this. They want to grow but cannot. So they stuck for some time. And then finally they cannot tahan like, I want to grow, 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 grow. Then, then they grow. Then a new shell will form again. Uh. So the hard shell makes them unable to grow steadily. They must always change their shirt. Okay. Cannot wear, change. Cannot wear, change. So this changing uh, makes them in the shape of like a staircase law huh? exoskeleton prevent growth of the animal so that skeleton makes them cannot grow so animal will share their exoskeleton repeatedly yeah? until they reach adulthood so the process of shedding the the skin it's called ecdysis Remember the word, very important. Everybody pronounce with me one more time. Each in yen or ek disis. Ek disis. Ek disis. Okay. Ek disis process. Uh, it's a new uh, and soft exoskeleton formed under the old skeleton. Uh, then it will become harder again. Uh, you all like to eat soft shell crab, right? Everyone likes to eat soft shell crab. So soft shell crab, it's when the crab shed off their shell. Then we quickly, you know, take them as, use them as food. Lor. So at that stage where they change their shell, their, their new shell is still soft. So that's why we call soft shell crab. Very difficult, very rare lor, because you have to wait them to shed their shell. There's only certain stage, certain time. Uh, so that's why expensive and you don't really find them anywhere. 
okay nice so uh yeah that's about the growth curve so you must understand a few main points about the growth curve law number one uh the flat is what the straight the horizontal and the vertical is what uh and why like that on the curve oh because exoskeleton stop them from growing unable to expand okay they have to go through a process called ecthesis yeah okay cool um let's straight get into some work shall we okay uh same same your material can be downloaded in the description box below if you have not paused the video go ahead and download and print it out if you want to okay we continue so as usual question comes out in the staircase form so first question what type of organisms uh as the growth pattern above okay so obviously only organisms with hard shell on the outside will, will go through this okay so like very simple we will just write uh, what's that category called what type uh, okay you, if you're thinking can i write like exoskeleton that's the skeleton the question is asking type of organism so maybe let's just give something we maybe most of us don't like <laughs> insects okay and also or Eric need from the front we have uh, but I don't think you want to remember that then that's fine just insects okay no problem uh don't write uh, exoskeleton now because not asking for type of skeleton now is question asking for type of organisms yeah okay steady uh, like B next one based on diagram above what is stage X oh what is stage X stage X is flat one right remember what's the name of the stage there's there's a special name for it Everyone likes to scroll on their phone one, uh, but without the word grammar. Okay, uh, so let's call it in star stage. Okay, process Y. Eh? Ah, pointing at what? The sharp corners, right? The sharp corners. So the sharp corners are where you beta hana. You tear off your shirt. You grow. So that process of tearing off. Remember, I pronounced to you three times just now. Uh, okay, that is called egg. This is all right. Next one. State the characteristics of external skeleton. External skeleton means means exo la. Oh, oh yeah. Why pattern exo skeleton? Okay, so a characteristics of exoskeleton. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think we can have it from from here. Do we have anything here? Mm, yes, I do. I think here. Yeah, the characteristics of exoskeleton. What you learn here is a few things. It is made of something called the chitin. We have it on top. Yeah, something made of something. The characteristics are made of chitin, the material. And it's hard, lah, I think. Hard and unable to expand. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's combine both of them together. That will be. Yeah, like we write extra uh, so you can write made up of cheating and unable to expand or a uh, made out of cheating which are hard uh, also can okay number two uh state two functions of the external oh, oh, oh this one copy from here i like this one for you all okay i think we can use uh this as one this as two right? so we have one two and three uh, uh, like you pause the video you copy that i'm not gonna write it for you okay help yourself right next question shall we okay i want you to try this on your own but i'm going to give you some tips and show you how to do it so the another level of question is to ask you to draw oh gg so draw what draw this one exactly draw this one uh, this one or you copy from your textbook also can uh, this one exactly uh, really really trust me uh, trust me huh? okay so you draw exactly like that let's say uh, we save time now i'm just gonna quickly show you let's say you boom you draw already uh. okay magic ma ma magic okay so you draw already then our question wants you to label nymph actesis adult and insta see if you have everything here adult nymph uh where else huh? in star okay so maybe you want to label extra here as 
uh, in star, the flat stage in star. Okay, and adult in star XDCs. Yes, make sure you label XDCs like that with the arrow or the corner. Okay, yeah, pretty much copy and paste. Yeah. Okay, then uh, question one to explain. Wow, this one jalap four marks a lot. Uh. You need to explain the curve. It's a very simple one. Four marks means four sentences, usually four points. Okay, you can copy later. Huh? I'll explain to you first. Don't rush. Stage one, insect in Insta stage flat. Uh, huh? No growth. End of stage one, beta han liao, beta han liao. Okay, increase in size, undergo X disease, tearing off your shirt, and growth occur dramatically. So keyword dramatically, X disease, no growth. Then you repeat, actually repeat again stage two. Ayo yo yo, ayo yo 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 yo. Okay, yeah. Then the fourth mark, then you say everything go repeat and again and again until you reach adult. So you just have to do two times of this, stage one, stage two, and then you repeat. So we have four marks. Uh. One, two, three, four. This one must practice before. If you didn't see this kind of question before, suddenly in the exam, you have to write four marks. Uh. Confirm, you know, uh. you have to practice one. You have to do one, uh, one time, then you familiar with what you need to write. Then only you can you know practice so uh answers will be provided uh in the material uh, when you download so uh help yourself on that well i hope that um this video helped you to understand better um if you like the video give me a thumbs up all right or consider to subscribe and share it to your friend all right if there is no problem i guess i will see you in the next video bye guys